Emily's. What's up, Emily? What's up, Emily? Today, going to be bringing you. What is up, you guys? And today, going to bring you a Brazilian squad builder. And overall, his team cost about 100k, so it's quite a good budget 100k squad. So, hopefully, can help you guys out a lot. And it looks really sick as well. But in goal, we have Julier Cesar, 82 rating. He has a quite impressive stat of 83 diving, 86 reflexes, 82 positioning, and 77 handling. Also, was very, very impressive in my opinion with his stature of 82 rating, them good stats, that rareness. Managed to pick him up for 850 coins. Two centre back spots we have Dante and David Louise. And if you look at David Louise, we picked him up for 22,500 coins. So a very, very, very expensive centre back. But yeah, he has got 77 passing, sort of pace, 72 dribbling, 80 heading, and 79 defending. Also, quite an impressive stat of 74 positioning. He also has a quite an impressive stature of six foot two, so these two are absolute monsters from corners. But if we go on to next player, it's going to be Dante. He has got sixty eight pace, seventy six passing, seventy dribbling, eighty four positioning, and eighty one handling. Also, again with three star week for three star skills, six foot two, and for six thousand seven hundred coins. What absolute dominancy from our centre back players. But <clears throat> what I find really strange is that Dante is a higher rating than David Louise. Got better stats and he's worth 6.7k, 6 David Louise 22k. So it's, it's mind boggling. But in the right back spot, we have Mikon. Just look at his absolute dominancy of his stats 78 rated, 79 passing for a pace, 74 dribbling, 79 defending. 77 heading, 79 passing, and 73 shooting. High attack and work rate, medium defensive work rate. Six for tools, so dominancy from coins and hopefully strength. And for 1700 coins, what absolute beast. And what I find really strange in FIFA now, last year he was 84 rated, had quite a bad season, and now he's been dropped down to a 78, so it's, oh my god, it's stupid. But. Next player we have is going to be Marcelo, 83 overall, 82 pace, 80 passing, 84 dribbling, 81 defending, and 70, sorry, 70 heading. But I think looking at his, I think it's a cost thing, you might pick him up for 14,000 coins. But overall, that defense is looking very, very, very solid in my opinion. And Hopefully it can be quality from corners as well, especially with the double seed of the height and good heading. But the two sentiment positions we have is going to be Kaka and Oscar. If you look at Kaka and Oscar comparison, Kaka is better than everything apart from three stats. That's Oscar's has quite a dominant seed in pace and heading. But if you go on to a bit of Oscar, managed to pick him up for 14 thousand coins was very very expensive four star skills three star weak foot 81 pace 72 shooting 78 passing and 85 dribbling 14 grand for an 82 rated player ridiculous and then we go on to kaka 82 rated malam beast 70 pace 84 dribbling four star weak foot four star skills 80 shooting and 79 passing Managed to pick him up for 4k. So, from Oscar and Kaka, they've both got the same amount of. They're, they're basically they're kind of the same card. And one's worth 14k, one's worth 4k. So, it's a 10k difference. What well, is very, very stupid just because he's got a bit more pace, I think. But in the cam position, we have Diego. 84 rated, very very sweaty in FIFA 13, but this year 84 rated, 76 pace, 87 dribbling, 83 passing, and 78 shooting. Again with the four star skills and four star weak foot bracket, 
and managed to pick him up for I think was 6k I can't remember at all because I'm doing the commentary over the top of the gameplay so but in the left wing position we have Osvaldo 77 rated 90 pace 84 dribbling 69 shooting and 67 passing four star week four star skills and for 900 coins that is ridiculous because he is like better than some of these other players in the team but he's worth 900 coins and you got like I don't know, Kaká for 4k, Oscar for 14k, Diego for like 6k. So all these players are really good because of one individual stat, in my opinion. But then we go on to Alexander Pato, 80 rated, 88 pace, 83 dribbling, 65 passing. Not the best on the passing stat, but then very, very good in his shooting and heading of 75 and 76. Managed to pick up Pato for 3 point. 4k but then if you go on to the main meat wagon right wing this kind of ups the price by, by about 30k in this team so this player is very very expensive it's going to be hulk what a tank all you have to say what a tank 86 pace 83 dribbling 79 passing 74 heading 60 defending and 85 shooting four star skills two star weak foot 30,500 coins, so a very, very expensive player, but what absolute machine, he's so strong as well, I know for a fact he's the best player, I say he's the best player, he's the fastest and strongest right wing on in the game in that sort of department, so what an absolute beast, but <clears throat> hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video so far. If you have, then giving a like will help our channel out a lot and also help us grow. Also, if you're new around here, then subscribe to our channel. And also, this team, again, if you want to know, cost about 100k overall budget, so get it, it's pretty sick. But, what we're going to do a bit different around here, I won't bring you guys goals, I'm going to bring you a full gameplay game, so we can talk about a topic and some, yeah, topics really, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So, if you want to buy this team, I'll... You can pretty get him for a lot cheaper than we do. I think we managed to pick up Oscar, 14k. You can pretty pick him up about 13k. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, then give it a like, how about our channel a lot. So, subscribe. Cheers, guys.